Detroit players in your career? Well, you know, Davey, the thing that I'm working on right now is a lot of things that I'm seeing the guys do out on the out on the PGA Tour right now. Uh, you know, as we get a little older, the thing that, that we all have to fight is, you know, we have to fight gravity and we have to fight this, this slowing down and, and tightening up of our body. And so I'm really working on trying to keep my speed up as much as I can. Well, just like any athletic endeavor, you know, throwing a ball or hitting a baseball or hitting a golf ball or, you know, tennis or anything, you know, so much of the power comes from the lower body. And uh, if you can initiate some good fast hip drive and, and hip rotation, then it's going to translate into a lot of speed. You know, you can't throw a ball very fast just that way. But if you start getting your hips to, to rotate in, obviously the, the speed picks up. And that's what I'm trying to get. And, of course, watch Roy McElroy. And the thing you notice about him is the hip speed. And yet he's got such terrific speed. When you look at his landing or his follow-through, he just sticks that landing like a gymnast coming down off a vault. I mean, his follow-through is just impeccable. I mean, he's got all this speed, and it builds up, and then all of a sudden, boom! And he just holds that follow-through just perfect. And so, you know, you can just sit there and... and you know, try to do that, and you can feel the muscles in your body start to uh, start to fire, and, and specifically, you know, the hip action and the glutes really start firing a little bit. And so, that's what I'm trying to incorporate a little bit in my swing right now is try to get a little bit more of that that left hip to rotate and really feel like the glutes are firing and and uh, feeling like I'm I'm sticking the landing like Roy McIlroy does. Can you show us without sort of a full swing and then in the swing? Sure. Show exactly what you're talking about. With yeah, I mean, you know, the thing that. The thing that we see so many amateurs do, and, and really out here a lot on the Champions Tour, guys start to slow down their lower body and their arms just pass, and then it you know, looks kind of weak. Where you look at the guys on the PGA Tour, you know, they've got a lot of this action like that where their hips are driving and they've got all that speed, and then, you know, obviously the delay is right down at the, the ball and they just fire right on through. And it, it's beautiful to watch a guy like that because. Like I said, you know, when, when the muscles are firing like that and, and, you know, when you do that, you can you can feel your glutes tighten up and all of a sudden that follow-through position just gets impeccable. Tom Watson has done it beautifully for years and years, you know. I mean, you think about Tom, you know, mm -hmm. how many times have you seen Tom just stare a ball down? I mean, he's on point when he finishes that follow-through position. So, you know, those are the things that I'm working on. and. And I'm seeing an awful lot of that out there on the PGA Tour. Can you show us the swing? You know, I'm trying to just go fast. I mean, I know that sounds really weird right now because everybody's trying to keep a nice, smooth swing. And, you know, I'm trying to keep it smooth back here. But, boy, once I start that downswing, I'm really trying to initiate it and make it just not really think so much about positions. Because when I think about positions, I think that slows me down. Right. So I'm really just trying to go fast for a little while, almost feeling a little bit out of control, and yet stick that landing. So I'm really not worrying too much about positions, but just trying to just trying to feel those muscles fire. Is there something with the ball flight that'll let you know you haven't accomplished it? Or yeah, the ball goes. <laughs> <laughs> it gets off the club face. It doesn't get stuck there, you know, quite as short uh, uh, as it does. And 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 honest goodness, when I when I don't use the hips that way, then the arms and hands and the upper body take over and I get a little flip and then I fight that hook. Uh, and I think a lot of people do. When the, you know, when the body slows down or stops, then the arms just take over and, and you know, pretty soon you got that club flipping over. So when I start seeing that ball curve too much, I know that my lower body hasn't, got, hasn't opened up quite enough. Well, we love it when you analyze the PGA Tour guys pick out something, one thing that you then incorporate into your game, and then we can incorporate it into ours. Thanks so much. It's fun watching those guys. Appreciate it.